Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Plugin Development. In the previous video, we learned about how caching is implemented in WordPress. And in this video, we are going to take a look at the object cache.php file and see how things are working inside of that file, what is all included. So we'll dig a bit deeper. So let's begin. If you go to the WP core file uh, under WP includes call, called cache.php, you can see this is the place where this class is being included, class WP object cache.php. And this is where we are instant. This is where WordPress is instantiating this class, which is responsible for taking care of the caching, the object caching. And it sets up the object cache global and assigns it. This function adds the cache data this function sets it this function gets it so i showed you the uh, functions for wp cache get wp cache set so these are the functions available but this is the file where you can see all the functions which are responsible for handling the caching and in turn is actually using the class to handle the caching okay now if you go to the um, includes plugin.php this is the get drop-ins so remember we spoke about the drop-ins right in case if you want to implement your own caching mechanism let's say through a plugin that we spoke about w3 total cache this is the function that wordpress uses to check that file exists or not so notice that it, it uh, the plugin created the object hyphen cache.php which doesn't exist by default this way it's checking the wordpress code is checking if this file exists, then that means it's treating that as an external object cache. And this is auto on load. And in the core file class WP plugin list use, and the core file class WP plugins list table, this is where it's actually using that function, it's checking all the drop ins. Now, if you go to the WP includes load.php, right, this is the place where start the WordPress object cache happens, okay? And this is where it checks if an object cache.php file exists in the WP content directory. It uses that drop-in as an external object cache. So take a look. WP start object cache. All right. This is the place where it starts. It filters whether to enable the loading of the WP hyphen cache.php drop-in. This filter runs before it can be used by any, any plugins. Right. So take a look here. Is checking if this file exists or not if it does exist it's just going to require that file okay so, so it's saying that you're trying to load a custom caching backend and then if it results in a WP cache in it function existing we note that an external object cache is being used so this function is basically going to return true so if it's true then of course it's going to use the external caching but if it isn't you can see that this is false and it's just going to use the WordPress cache.php, which is your default caching. Okay, so that's where the check happens for the caching. Cool. So I hope you did like this video and uh, this video was informative to you. And you understand, you got a, like a basic understanding of cache, how caching works in WordPress. Okay, so if you did like the video, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do sign up for the membership for more bugs. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.